right up front, you have a Harley? Do you really? A motorcycle, Harley motorcycle. What, what's your first name? Because oh, no, I asked somebody once, do you have a Harley? Say, I have a cat named Harley. Say, <laughs> what's your first name, friend? Nelson. Nelson? Oh, good name, Nelson. Let's call him Nelson. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome up to the big stage. It's Nelson. Come on up, Nelson. Hey. Uh, yeah. Didn't see the beard in the dark out there. It was like where people get together every hundred years for a special event. Any idea what that special event might have been for Harley Davidson, the company, every hundred years or so? <laughs> Bam! Nailed it, Nelson! Yes, you did! <laughs> Here we go. That's it. That's right. Is there hundred years? And were you at that event? No, you were 15. Okay. So your colleague, Nelson. You're a beauty. You're one in a million. Thanks, Nelson. <laughs> The reason I'm asking Nelson about the Harley Davidson 100th anniversary is because, unlike Nelson, I was there by accident. <laughs> Flew from my home in Minneapolis, go to Milwaukee, rent a car to drive north to Nina, Wisconsin to help the Nina educators kick off their school year. Um, I was in a beige Ford Taurus from Avis, driving through Milwaukee, and I realized immediately that I'm surrounded by hardcore black leather bandana, big chin on the wallet, tattooed, Harley Riders. Unlike Nelson and a couple of the rest of you, I've, I've never been on a Harley. More of a pontoon kind of a guy. <laughs> never dreamed of owning a Harley. Never thought of myself as a Harley kind of a guy. But that day in my beige Taurus, <laughs> I wanted a Harley. <laughs> I want to be part of that Harley tribe. I want to see my wife Susan in shiny black leather in the back of a Harley. <laughs> right, that, that's a different issue, but... Um, <laughs> let's put Nelson in a time machine. Instead of being 15, it's Nelson with his beautiful beard. He's standing by his shiny black... Uh, sportster. sportster. There's, and there's other sportsters, but Nelson's standing by his. Stranger goes walking by, glance over at Nelson. What two words would the stranger have said that would have made Nelson's weekend? Nice bike. Nice bike. Which point, Mark, why is that relevant to us as educators and paraprofessionals and transportation? And... Well, if you want to work with human beings, each other in this room and with children, you should probably understand them. St. Cloud State, uh, Psychology 101. I remember that day, Maslow, that, that triangle on, on, on the board. Once our core basic needs are met, all of us, all of us in this room and every child that comes into a building this week, we have two core needs. Number one, we need to belong to a family, a tribe, a race of people, a faith fellowship, an incredible community, a wonderful school, Mr. Lubatina's seventh grade classroom. We need to belong. Because when we don't belong, we're on the outside looking in. It's a hard place to stand until somebody gives us the, hey, let me connect with you. Number one, we all need to belong. Number two, we all need to hear the words, nice bike. I contend, when we create teams, schools, where people know that who they are and what they do matters, and we nice bike them along the way, amazing growth takes place. Nice bike's a metaphor supported by three words. Acknowledge, honor, connect. Acknowledge means to be fully present in the lives of others, to be there. Honor means to create remarkable experiences for others, make a deposit in their memory bank that will last forever. Connect, connect means make it personal. Let me give you an example of nice bike in education. Benold Middle School, Georgetown, Texas, just north of Austin. Middle school, Mark, you're the principal of the middle school here. Their middle school had 900 students in it. Randy Adair was the principal. And he had the whole staff together, just as we do this morning, of all support staff, paraprofessionals, classroom teachers. Everybody was there. He said, good morning, everybody. We had a good start to the year. We need to end great. I came up with an idea. If you look at the walls, you'll see the names of all 900 of our students here at Benold. What I want you to do is you look at the table. You'll see some adhesive dots. 
please go put a dot, the name of a student that is named and known to you. So they did. They put sticker, 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 named and known, named and known. They sat down, they counted of the 900, 430 did not have a sticker. He said, we're good, but we're not great until we connect with every child. Here's a different set of colored stickers. Took a minimum of five, a maximum of 10. Find a name that doesn't have a sticker and put it there. Write their name down and make a connection. I do not need you to be a big brother, big sister. I just need you to go in the hallways and get to know these kids. So they know they have an adult here that's concerned about them. They did. What happened? Everything you could think would happen that was good happened. Discipline referrals were cut in half. Engagement and activities went up significantly. Uh, their standardized test score in one year went from an 82% passing rate to a 93% passing rate. Within three years, they used to be rated number 26 academically in the county out of 50 schools right in the middle. They moved up to number five because the adults of the school were intentional about connecting with each other and connecting with kids. So let's talk about Nice Bike this school year and acknowledging kids and each other, honoring kids and each other, and connecting with kids and each other. Let's start with acknowledge. Okay, school's coming up, starts this week. Um, what's the most exciting day of the year for kids of all ages? <laughs> Last day of school, that's your favorite day, but thanks for playing. First day of school, I'm in kindergarten. Mom's crying, dad's crying. I'm not sure what separation anxiety is, but I think I have it. Third grade, fourth grade, huge turning point, especially for little girls, how they see themselves in the world. Middle school, I'm in middle school, I'm in middle school. I have a locker, that's like having a garage away from home. <laughs> I'm a freshman, I'm a hornet. I'm a freshman, I'm a hornet. I'm a senior hornet, move. <laughs> Every step along the way is a huge, hey, mom or dad, ask that loving question. Honey, how was your first day of school? What did the angels say? Fine, you're right. They say fine. Fine is average, fine is generic, fine is as close to the bottom as it is to the top. I've been to places that say fine dining and they're not. <laughs> and then a lot of times in the high schools they go, well, you're kind of excited about that first day and everything and you go through seven periods of, hi, this is my name, this is your name, here's where I stand, that's where you sit, here's the rules, here's the regulations, bloodborne pathogens, bloodborne pathogens, wash your hands, sing happy birthday, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Here's the new pink form, gotta have the pink form by next Tuesday. Please bring in the pink form by next Tuesday. We need $7 for the goggles, it's a really cool experiment, you gotta have the goggles, otherwise we can't do the experiment. We need $7 to check money orders, $7 cash, if you, we have a special fund if you need it, but it's, and make sure um, we have a lot of rules, a lot of regulations, a lot of expectations, got all the tests coming up, gonna see where you're at on assessments as far as that goes, but we're gonna be really working hard. Here's the orange form. Make sure you fill out the orange form. It's a new form we've got to have. So make sure you get that one. And uh, we're short on time, so we'll see you tomorrow. What, what, you know, you go home and your lover says, hey, hon, how was that first day of school? It's fine. <laughs> Looking forward to getting the good stuff. Well, here's the novel idea. What if we gave them the good stuff on day one? What if day one was a preview of coming attractions? What if day one we grabbed them and took from a ride that says, this is what education is all about, enlightenment and discovery and asking questions and how'd that happen and why did that? Right, get some uh, red carpets, red carpets, and, and have them go for the bus run right at the front of the school to say, this is a really cool place. Have all the staff dressed up in, in same kind of shirts, making a ton of high-fiving each other, welcoming kids, just over-demonstrating how excited we are. Let's, Let's read a Kill a Mockingbird out by an oak tree on day one, not week four, and, and, and really bring the literature alive. Oh, let's get a polka band. There's so many polka bands down in Minnesota right now. <laughs> get the three bobs, put them right in front of the high school playing polka. High school kids hate polka. Let's get them before they get us. Game on, hello. <laughs> let's play a game in gym class before the liability forms are signed, right? Let's go down the science wing and take Steve Spangler's science experiments and create smoke and fire in front of them. What if the kid goes home and mom and dad says, honey, how's your first day at school? Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's red carpets and helium balloons. All the teachers dressed up the same shirt, high-fiving you said they're acting really weird. There was a polka band playing beer barrel polka, which I thought was inappropriate for our age level. <laughs> 
we read, we read A Kill a Mockingbird out by an oak tree, and that was her very first novel, and Gregory Peck was in the movie, and it was really good. We have to watch that sometime. Oh my gosh, there's a kid with a bloody face in gym class. We hadn't even gone through bloodborne pathogens at that point yet. <laughs> And the whole science wing was on fire. Everything was smoking. I'm looking forward to going back tomorrow. <laughs> what if? What if that very first day we knocked their socks off and took them through this adventure called education? It's that connection. When we're connected to each other as a team, whether it's in an individual school or a department, as colleagues, and we're connected to our kids, we can take them places. <laughs> the mom gave me the words, open it. And there's not a day that's been gone by in the last four years where I haven't heard my mother's two words to me. Open it. You have a gift in this world. Open it. This world is a better place because of you. Open it. If you want to hear people different from you, open it. You have the ability in a 60 second exchange to change a child's life. Open it. You are a most amazing group of educators. You're incredible. It's 276 days till graduation. It's up to you how you want to go after it. Thank you and nice bike. God bless. Thanks much. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thanks, man. I could not stop cackling. He kept me in stitches. I did weep a little bit in there. The way that he'll make you laugh. Motivating, amazing. Yeah, I did not feel like I was just being talked to. I felt like I was a part of it. Even 10 years from now, I remember the stories. Totally fun. Nice bike. Yeah, definitely nice bike. You just walk away feeling completely mesmerized. I'm going to remember some of the things he said probably the rest of my life. You know, I just thought it was fabulous, fabulous. Nice bike. Nice bike. Nice